Hi guys, this is Kenan. Today I'm going to show you the top reasons why you should use Hyper-V in your Windows 10. So, there are a lot of features in Hyper-V, and let's see some of the important features and some extra features you can use. So, first of all, Hyper-V is free to use in Windows 10. If you buy Windows 10, then it was easy for you to use Hyper-V in Windows 10 because it was coming as an inbuilt package inside the Windows 10 and this facility was available only in Windows 10 Professional and also in Windows 10 Enterprise Edition and it was not available in the Education or Home Editions and you also need to keep in mind that it only supports 64-bit architecture so if you are going to buy a motherboard or if you are going to upgrade your present system into a with upgraded facilities like mother upgraded ram motherboard or ssd hard disk then you can opt for the virtualization enabled motherboard nowadays all the motherboards like asus intel gigabit everything are coming with uh, virtualization enabled motherboard so you don't need to worry about it because i3 processor and the intel i5 and the intel i7 processor will support only the motherboard with intel virtualization and the amd virtualization technologies <coughs> and the next thing is you can install xp and also the windows 7 and also the windows 8 and 8.1 inside the hyper v manager it will be easy for you because most of the application nowadays supports only the windows xp and still people are using the windows xp operating system worldwide so if you want to install if you have a valid license and if you want to install the windows xp operating system you can use the hyper v manager to install and you can use the application easily since it was coming as a inbuilt feature that is hyper is coming as a inbuilt feature you can use this option and also you, know, you don't need a separate license package for installing the hyper V's it was a free to use and you can enable it from the Windows features and I have created a separate video to show you how to enable the hyper V from the control panel so you can see that and it was an inbuilt as I said already it was an inbuilt feature which is available in Windows 10 professional edition and also in the enterprise edition and to use Hyper-V you don't need a separate hardware for example if you want to use a VMware product you need to go for a separate hardware like uh, for installing the ESXi server and it also need a minimum of 4 GB of giga 4 GB of RAM with a minimum of 100 GB of hard disk space if you have a PC with these configurations then you can easily install your Hyper-V in your Windows 10 operating system itself and you can use utilize it without any issues so you don't need a separate hardware to install you can use it in your day-to-day -day system itself and using the Hyper-V is uh, very simple I'll just show you some example so this is the server which I have connected actually this is the local server I'll just show you by removing the server I go to connect to server and just select local server there is a local computer just select so it was connected successfully you don't need a LAN network for this to connect and you know, don't need a separate uh, switch everything you don't need so I just connected and simply I can just uh, install or I can also import the virtual machines and it was also not having any special configurations to configure you can just simply install after uh, enabling the Hyper-V in your uh, Windows 10 operating system I have just installed the Linux operating system that is the CentOS latest version and you can also move you can also create the checkpoints you can start stop and you can turn off the 
virtual machines here you can also delete uh, but deleting the virtual machine does not delete the virtual hard disk so you need to manually delete the virtual hard disk from the location you can also use this here inspect disk to compact the virtual hard disk you can stop the service and you can do more things and these are some of the simple settings you can have here to know about the hyper-v manager and you don't need to specially learn to work on the hyper-v manager you can just simply use the youtube videos to know how to install the hyper-v manager and how to enable the hyper-v manager and it also don't need any special services or uh, special updates to be installed before installing the hyper-v manager it will install automatically because it was coming as an inbuilt feature so i think this video might be helpful for you to know some of the top five reasons to know how to install and why to install the hyper-v manager in your windows 10 operating system so thank you for watching the video please subscribe so that I can create more and more videos that will boost my confidence to create more and more videos so thank you for watching the video